Budapest, Vienna, Bamberg, the Rhine Gorge, Cologne, and Amsterdam. Just a few of the many treasures to be found on Europe's Rhine, Mine, and Danube rivers. Hi everyone, I'm Tanya Memmi. I'm about to take you on a spectacular journey showcasing the jewels of Europe on the scenic river cruise ship Diamond. The history of Western civilization has been shaped by Europe's great waterways. For many centuries, the Rhine, Main, and Danube rivers have been vital arteries for trade and cultural exchange. Each river provides countless fascinating reminders of the old world centuries of development. Important cities, quaint villages, imposing fortresses, and magnificent cathedrals, each has its own story to tell. I'll take you to the capital of classical music, Vienna, the quaint German towns of Bamberg and Rotenburg, the stunning Rhine Gorge, Cologne Cathedral, and of course, our final destination, Amsterdam. There are many ways to explore Europe and take in all the incredible sights, but none better than by river, especially on a scenic river cruise. Boasting the youngest fleet in Europe, Scenic Cruises is the premier river cruise provider. Each scenic ship has been meticulously designed to maximize comfort and space. Already the largest vessels on the river, Scenic's fleet provides guests an unparalleled experience that pairs world-class comfort and service with five-star cuisine. And lucky for me, this will be my floating luxury hotel as I immerse myself in some European history and culture. My adventure is only just beginning, and before we set sail, I take time to enjoy a brief tour of our starting point, Budapest, the Pearl of the Danube. Whether you're starting your scenic river cruise or ending it here in Budapest, you may want to make sure that you allow some extra time to take in this magnificent city. My local guide, Punka, introduces me to some of the highlights. First stop, one of the finest examples of a traditional Grand European coffee house, the world-famous Café Gerbeau. Is this a, a young town or a young city, would you say? I think uh, this uh, city is really, really changing nowadays. It's a metropolitan city, so you can find really, really great restaurants, uh, coffee houses, bars, uh, museums, and uh, I would say it's a great city you could... Uh, no matter what come. age you are. It doesn't matter what age you are, you would definitely find uh, the great spots of uh, Budapest. What about the bathhouses? Tell me about that. Okay, so we have uh, those spas, thermal spring water, so everywhere in the, in the city, so both sides of the city, on the Buddha and also the first side. The greatest would be to go, uh, it would be called uh, the Seichini Spa, and it's located at the city park area where is this Hero Square is located, and it's an open air uh, spa, and it doesn't matter if it's a, a rainy day or a winter time, it's always open. You definitely come out with a baby skin. So it's like the fountain of youth, you'd say. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Budapest is also known for their coffee houses too. Tell me a little bit about that culture. The Gerbo is one of the, the greatest uh, uh, coffee houses we have uh, from the 19th century. So this is really the lifestyle what we had here in Budapest. People always came to here to the Gerbo, for example, and had a nice coffee and also some really uh, tasty pastry as well. That sounds like a fun day. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> The city of Budapest features several UNESCO World Heritage Sites that include Hero Square. Rich with political and historic connotations, its iconic statue complex, the Millennium Memorial, was laid out in celebration of Hungary's thousandth anniversary back in 1896. Across the Danube on Castle Hill, we find Fisherman's Bastion, a terrace in Neo-Gothic and Neo-Romanesque style. Seven towers represent the seven tribes that settled here in the Carpathian Basin more than 1,000 years ago. Today, it's an incredible viewpoint to take in many of Budapest's architectural treasures. So why is this area called Fisherman's Bastion? Well, it takes its name from the Guild of Fishermen who were responsible for defending this stretch of city walls during the Middle Ages. I could spend weeks in this beautiful city, but now it's time to board the scenic diamond to begin the next chapter of my exciting journey. The diamond's revolutionary ship design was created exclusively for scenic cruises by Europe's leading naval architects and ship designers. Staterooms and suites feature queen-size beds with soft Egyptian cotton. 
All staterooms include flat screen TVs, Wi-Fi internet access, and a complimentary minibar. Remarkably, 84% of the staterooms feature Scenic's full-size balcony, which, at the touch of a button, turns the entire cabin into an exclusive sun lounge. Royal suites represent the ultimate in indulgence. Interiors are spacious with a separate lounge area to relax, entertain, or simply enjoy your complimentary bottle of Veuve Clicquot champagne upon arrival. The bathrooms have extra room and include a deluxe full-size bathtub and premium L'Occitane toiletries, my favorite. Plus, you'll enjoy the service of a personal butler whom you can call on anytime. They'll even unpack your luggage for you. Budapest by day is stunning, but at night, <laughs> it is beyond spectacular, highlighted by Hungary's parliament building. As we depart Budapest, sailing under the magnificent chain bridge, we begin our journey towards our first stop, the grand city of Vienna, Austria. The capital, and by far the largest city in Austria. It was, until the 20th century, the largest German-speaking city in the world. Today, it's second only to Berlin. Art and culture have long been a tradition in Vienna, including theater, opera, classical music, and fine arts. It's well known for having played an essential role as a leading European music center, from the great age of Viennese classicism through the early part of the 20th century. The historic center features grand buildings, museums, monuments, and parks. Two very special monuments pay homage to two classical composers that will be featured tonight at a very special private concert event. And I get to attend. This is the incredible Pali Lichtenstein, and I'm about to attend an exclusive concert event featuring the classical works of Mozart and Strauss. But you can only get in if you're a scenic cruise guest. I'm a lucky girl. recital is just one of a selection of private experiences and excursions exclusive to scenic cruises. Each scenic and rich experience is a unique activity, often once-in-a-lifetime events that promise to live long in our memories. It's a truly magical night at the spectacular Palais Liechtenstein. From the orchestra to the opera singers and ballet dancers, the performances are truly captivating. The ballet not only brought back childhood memories of mine, but created new ones that I know will last a lifetime. Even though my journey has just begun, it will take a lot to beat this amazing experience. Early to bed and early to rise. It's time for breakfast. Delivered to my cabin by my personal butler. This is wonderful. A cooked to order omelet, baked goods, fresh fruit, the perfect breakfast. This is what I'm thinking. In any other hotel, this would cost a small fortune, but here, it's all included. And we have a personal butler service where you don't have to tip. Even if you want to, you can't, because they won't let you. <laughs> I kind of like that. All right, let's open up the champagne. During our stay in Vienna, guests get an opportunity to experience Scenic's selection of free choice inclusive excursions. These experiences are designed to cater to various interests and tastes. Best of all, no matter which experience you choose, there's no extra charge. Equestrian fans will want to take the time to visit the Spanish Riding School. The school was founded by the Habsburgs in 1572 to maintain the highest standards of equestrianism. And to this day, that role has remained unchanged. The aim is to teach horses special steps and paces, some executed to the rhythms of classical music. The only horses suitable for this kind of training are Lipizzaners, which is a cross between Arabian and Spanish breeds. My trip has just begun, and the first few days have just been absolutely incredible. I feel like I've just landed in a fantasy world. Here we are in the gorgeous city of Vienna. Um, I can totally understand how it's rated the number one livable city in the world. It's, to me personally, it's the number one romantic city in the world. Our second scenic free choice option is a visit to Schönbrunn Palace. 
Completed during the reign of Empress Maria Theresa, the impressive Baroque complex was the original summer residence of the Habsburgs. 350 chambers served to accommodate the imperial family and important guests. The symmetrically laid out gardens that stretch as far as the eye can see owe a great deal of their inspiration to Louis XIV's gardens at Versailles. Another scenic free choice excursion is a day trip to Bratislava, the charming capital of Slovakia. High above the Blue Danube, the city symbol is its fortress. From the impressive hilltop setting, you'll find a magnificent view over Bratislava's old city and its many fine examples of Baroque buildings. Besides the stunning architecture, what I love most about this section of the city is that many of the winding alleys and lanes are pedestrian zones. Bratislava is a city you may want to get lost in. It's so beautiful and romantic. But if you do, never fear. Fortunately, you can always find your way with Scenic's very own tailor-made GPS device. Provided complimentary to all guests, each tailor-made GPS device allows you to explore at your own pace with over 100 themed excursions to choose from. This allows you the opportunity to spend more time exploring the sites that interest you most. And when you've completed your tour, this cool device will help you find your way to the next destination, so you'll never have to worry about asking for directions. It's time to set sail again, and after a full day of taking in the major sights, it's easy to work up an appetite, and thankfully, enticing cuisine is a major part of the scenic river cruise experience. Casual to semi-formal, there are five onboard dining venues to cater to anyone's tastes. The River Cafe is open all day. Here you can relax and enjoy coffee, cakes, sandwiches, wraps, gelato, and more. The Crystal Dining Room provides a five-star dining experience. Guests can enjoy open seating in the restaurant or join a table of newfound friends. For a more intimate feel, other onboard dining options include Portobello's Italian Restaurant, perfect for that romantic dinner for two. Exclusive for guests on the Danube deck, Table Arrive treats diners to an absolutely delicious six-course menu paired with matching wines. No matter which option you choose, everything is included and complimentary, including all gratuities. The next stop on our scenic river cruise to Amsterdam is one of the world's most famous monastic sites, Melk Abbey. Far back as 1089, today's impressive Baroque Abbey was actually built between 1702 and 1736. The outcome of that construction was one of the most outstanding examples of Baroque architecture in all of Europe. Behind the exterior walls we find numerous inner courtyards, splendid interior halls, an exquisite library, and the remarkable collegiate church. It all adds up to a must-see experience. Melk has been a spiritual and cultural center for the country for more than a thousand years. Since the 12th century, a school has been connected with the monastery, and valuable medieval manuscripts have been collected in the library. It's just completely overwhelming with how beautiful and ornate and how, can you imagine the history in here? And there's all these little secret things about this room, and one of them is that right here, if you can see it, there's a little door that opens on hinges, and behind it is a window, and in the 18th century, they used to open up this door and they would get a table and chair and sit at it and they would read their books by the window. Speaking of literature, in this well-known novel, The Name of the Rose, Umberto Eco named one of the protagonists, Addison von Melk, as a tribute to the Abbey and its famous library. This was my first river cruise, and believe me, it won't be my last. I'm having an amazing time, yet my journey has only just begun. Back on board the scenic diamond, I get the chance to sit down with Lisa McCaskill to learn more about this popular vacation trend and the scenic river cruise experience. 
River cruising is really a travel segment that's been growing over the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. And a number of ocean cruisers have tended to come to river cruising because they're getting a much more intimate experience. Because as you know, on an ocean cruise, there can be thousands of people on board a ship. But on our scenic spaceships, we only have like 169 people. And so part of river cruising as well is that you're so close to the ports and destinations that mm -hmm. we go to. So in many of the places that you stop, you can just wander into town really easily. Instead yeah. of having to spend so much time getting to a destination, you have more time to enjoy a destination. Obviously there's quite a bit of competition out there. What makes this ship so special in comparison? There are 135 meters in length, the longest on the European waterways, which actually provides 25% more space than a That's normal a river cruise ship. That's yes, it does. And by making it longer, we were able then to provide the full outdoor private balconies, very similar to what you find on an ocean cruise ship. You'll find on any other river cruise ship, you've got much more like a French balcony, which is just a ledge for you to look outside. And the other key thing is that we have a harmonious fleet. So what that means is that if you were to step on any one of our ships, you'll find they have the same design, same looking uh, interior, same suites, all of that. So any guest that's traveling on a scenic spaceship is going to get the same fabulous treatment, service, um, and experience on board. So Lisa, really, everything's included? Yes, the whole experience with uh, Scenic is all included. And that's really what makes us above all the rest. Including all... the excursions, exactly. the food, the yes. alcohol, so everything that you experience yes. while you're a guest on Scenic Cruises, it's all included. It's all included in the price of the oh, program. I love that. There's not, because I don't think your competition has that too. They don't, no. If you'd like to learn more about river cruising through Europe and Scenic's all-inclusive experience, then you're invited to take part in a free information session. Cruise discounts will be available on the day and seats are limited. To register, go to sceniccruises.com or call 1-855-6-SCENIC. It's time to introduce you to our next scenic river cruise destination, the German city of Bamberg. Bursting with character and charm, Bamberg is a city first documented in the year 902. Like Rome, Bamberg is built on seven hills, each featuring fascinating sites just waiting to be explored. The beautiful historic town center is another UNESCO World Heritage Site, primarily for its authentic medieval appearance. One of those popular sites is the Old Town Hall, which was built back in 1386. One half of the building shows the half-timbered architecture typical of the Middle Ages, while the rest is adorned with lavish Baroque frescoes from the late 17th century. Bamberg is a city that cries out to be explored on foot, not just for its architectural treasures, but also because its undulating hills provide constantly changing panoramas of its magnificent setting. While parts of Franconia are known for their wines, the area surrounding Bamberg is a beer lover's paradise. Get this, nine breweries are located within the city, all producing more than 50 different beers. And there are plenty of great beer gardens to sample some of the local cuisine and, of course, beer. Picturesque villages, towns, and cities, our cruise along Germany's romantic waterways is filled with breathtaking scenery and architectural treasures. Scenic Free Choice gives guests an opportunity to visit the medieval town of Rotenburg or tour the bishop's residence in Würzburg. Built between 1720 and 1744, Napoleon once dubbed it the nicest parsonage in all of Europe. Known for its extravagant artistic design and Baroque architecture, the residence once served as the home for Würzburg's powerful prince bishops. One of the main highlights, its lavish grand staircase. My local guide, Charles, gives me a tour. Okay, Charles, this is truly breathtaking, so I need to know about this painting. This is the world's largest fresco painting. It's about 18 yards wide, 30 yards long, Seven and a half thousand square feet of painting. This was done by one man in 14 months. That's crazy! Giovanni Battista Tiepolo. That's, this is honestly remarkable. Other rooms in the palace are no less spectacular. Another Tiepolo creation can be seen on the ceiling of Imperial Hall. It's so beautiful, my <laughs> neck is getting sore staring at it. Stunning frescoes aside, there's one unique hall that shouldn't be missed. Wait till you see this. This is just, this is just mind blowing. I mean, look at all the gold leafing and the mirrors and the details. I've never seen, I've never seen a room like this before. Never seen a room like this. So you tell me a little bit about this. Yeah, well this is what they call the mirror room. The mirror you, room. If you believe it or not. Yeah, I know it's hard <laughs> to believe. 
Uh, there's about 600 mirrors inside here. This room was totally destroyed in the war. There was nothing left over except one piece of mirror. So when was it rebuilt then? Up till 1988, they were still rebuilding this room. What about the, these tables look really interesting. What's the tables, they're, it's the funniest thing in the whole room. Is it it's yeah. funny? Okay. It's funny, yeah, these are card playing tables. And what's so, so funny about that, right? Okay, what's so funny about what's that? What's so funny? You've got card playing tables in a room full of mirrors. Once you've had a chance to explore the residence, take a little time to visit Germany's largest winery built under the massive palace complex to sample some of the local Franconian wines in the tasting room. The atmosphere, <laughs> words can't describe. Some wool. Some wool. I'm getting better. Wow, this is really good. Tell me about the wines that are made in this winery. The wines in this region, mm -hmm. especially here in this wine cellar, these are Franconian wines. They are only made for Franconia and for Germany. Oh. So they're not exported anywhere else in the world. All right, so you want to save them all for you, huh? Well, yeah. it's no problem. All you have to do is take a scenic tour. That's the truth. Our next scenic free choice option takes us to the city of Rotenburg. Passing through the medieval fortifications that still surrounds the city feels like stepping back five centuries in time. My guide Charles tells me that the city's almost perfect state of preservation is due to a historical accident that took place in the early 1600s. War reduced the city to a state of financial ruin that deprived it of all political influence. Over the years, it was literally forgotten until romantic enthusiasts, captivated by its unspoiled buildings, rediscovered it in the 19th so century. To see here. Today, it's one of the most photographed locations in Germany. Beyond the castle gate, we find stunning gardens that provide magnificent views. Wouldn't you just love to live here? I would, I would. <laughs> As we drift along the river, I can't help but wonder about the locals who for generations have made their homes and raised families along these banks. Scenic and Rich gives us the opportunity to meet some of these people by going off the beaten track as an invited guest to experience village life for the day. These activities even include visiting a family-owned local farm to learn more about its day-to-day -day operation. Do they bite? No, they are not biting. He has enough food, so he don't need to bite you. Yeah, maybe he was flirting. If farming isn't among your list of interests, other scenic and rich options include taking a pottery class. Look, I made an olive bowl. Or visiting a schnapps tasting room to sample all the many delicious flavors. This is another exclusive experience only for Scenic Cruise guests, and it's all included. Cheers. <laughs> Located at the beginning of the Middle Rhine Valley, Rudesheim is one of Germany's most popular destinations. And its famed Drosselgasse is one of the best known streets in the country. Only about 10 feet wide in some places, the lane is packed with cafes and wine bars. At the top of the street, you'll find a gondola station that can sweep you over the surrounding vineyards to the top of the hills above. This is absolutely, it's just a feast for the eyes, a feast for the senses. And the church bells chiming in the distance is, it's, it's really, really hard to describe. Hello. Hello. Here, perched high above the gateway to the Rhine Gorge, we're introduced to some truly stunning views. Before leaving Rudesheim, I take a trip down memory lane at Siegfried's Mechanical Music Museum. It's a great way to see how music was made as far back as the 1700s. And now, are you ready for the music? Yes. Come along. It was Siegfried Wendel's hobby to rescue and repair 19th century automatic mechanical instruments that were being discarded for scrap. Thanks to his passion and detailed restoration, we can see these massive works of musical art performing in all their glory. One instrument that's extremely rare is the Hopfeld Violina that plays multiple orchestral instruments, including six violins. It's little wonder that in its day, this amazing mechanized masterpiece was considered to be the eighth wonder of the world. Back on board the Scenic Diamond, guests are treated to an afternoon barbecue as we enter the magnificent Rhine Gorge. Our cruise along the stretch of the river is a major highlight of the journey. Both sides of the river feature fairy tale castles, ideally perched on hilltops overlooking the dramatic gorge. In fact, 21 medieval castles are located on the stretch of the river. 
All different in appearance, one castle stands out, the Marksburg. Marksburg Castle is the great exception among the castles of the Middle Rhine, as it's a truly authentic, intact medieval fortress. Begun during the 13th century, the mighty sandstone keep in the defensive complex is still original. Cobblestone walkways, grand halls, medieval furnishings, there's also an impressive display of weaponry. And of course, a gallery of gruesome methods of torture. Even though the fortress was never put to the test, a visit here offers a revealing insight into castle life during medieval times. Hi, oh, my goodness. Scenic guests are not only treated to a tour of this impressive fortress, but also get to enjoy a medieval banquet complete with live entertainment. It's a fantastic way to wrap up our day on the Middle Rhine. Continuing our journey on the majestic Rhine River, the scenic diamond sails through the night to our next destination, the beautiful city of Cologne, home to Germany's most visited landmark, Cologne Cathedral. The 600-year construction project was only completed in the 19th century, and although not completely unscathed, was one of the few buildings to survive Allied bombing during World War II. The most celebrated work of art in the cathedral is the Shrine of the Three Kings. It is traditionally believed to hold the remains of the three wise men whose relics were acquired during the conquest of Milan in 1164. Today, Cologne Cathedral stands as another UNESCO World Heritage Site, attracting 20,000 visitors per day. Even though the surrounding buildings were not so fortunate and suffered massive architectural loss during World War II, the old city's cozy taverns and bars are a great place to take a break and discover the locals' laid-back attitude. I look forward to returning here someday soon to further explore the city. The romantic side of me was definitely taken by the sight of all the locks that adorn Cologne's Hohenzollern Bridge. Each lock serves as a symbol of everlasting love. Our journey along the Danube, Mine, and Rhine rivers is nearing an end. However, we have one more destination to visit. Amsterdam, one of Europe's most multifaceted metropolises, and it's a fitting destination to end our journey. Cosmopolitan and bustling, yet laid back and welcoming, Amsterdam is one of those open-minded cities where everyone feels at home. Nonetheless, with over 7,000 classified buildings and a generous crop of must-see museums, there is just so much to see. Perhaps my favorite way to explore is to start with a canal cruise. Nicknamed the Venice of the North, Amsterdam requires 1,200 bridges to link its 90 islands. Another great way to enjoy the city is by bike. It's definitely the most popular form of transportation, especially when parking is a massive premium. While in Amsterdam, take time to visit one of the country's most important museums, Anne Frank House. Here you can see where Anne Frank went into hiding during the war and wrote her famed diary. Other nearby attractions include the beautiful flower market and cheese museum. Make sure you take some time to sample some of the incredible varieties at one of the local cheese shops. Each waxed round makes for a perfect souvenir or gift to bring home and savor with your new favorite wine. And think back on your adventure. And what a gift that adventure was. This incredible journey just, it swept me off my feet, slowed me down, and transported me into a wonderful dream I never expected. I experienced something entirely different and wonderful in every country. Every day was a new experience. Scenic Cruises introduced me to a world I'd never imagined. Magnificent medieval castles and cathedrals, picturesque towns and vibrant cities. There was so much to explore. All of this wouldn't have been possible without the guidance of the Scenic River Cruise team. The epitome of five-star service. They've created something so special that each and every trip scenic guests take will be remembered as a trip of a lifetime. Well, I hope you enjoyed our incredible journey through Europe on our Scenic River Cruise. But unfortunately, this adventure has got to come to an end, but in the beautiful city of Amsterdam. I hope you get to experience this someday soon like I did. See you next time.
If you'd like to learn more about river cruising through Europe and Scenic's all-inclusive experience, then you're invited to take part in a free information session. Cruise discounts will be available on the day and seats are limited. To register, go to sceniccruises.com or call 1-855-6-SCENIC.